Good morning, dear students. Our lesson today is the weight. In our daily life, we always deal with weights in several situations. For example, when your father wants to buy something from the market, such as rice, meat, or fruit, the seller weights what he wants. The doctor usually weights the baby every visit to follow the baby's growth. We use balance for measuring weight of a quantity. In our daily life, we usually use gram, kilogram, and ton as units of measuring weight. What are the units of measuring weight? Gram is used for measuring small object as jewelry. The kilogram is used for measuring meat, sugar, vegetables, and so on. Ton is used for measuring very heavy objects like cars, iron for building houses. Here are the convergence. We have to know something very important. If I'm going to change from big unit to small unit, I'm going to multiply. And if I'm going to change from small unit to big unit, I'm going to divide. So the biggest unit here is the ton, then the kilogram, and the smallest unit is the gram. So if I'm going to change from ton to kilogram, I'm going to multiply times 1,000. So 1 ton equal 1,000 kilogram. And changing from kilogram to gram, I'm going to multiply also times 1,000. So 1 kilogram equal 1,000 gram. If I'm going to change from gram to kilogram from small unit to big unit, I'm going to divide by 1,000. And same for the kilogram. If I'm going to change it to ton, I'm going to divide by 1,000. Here are some convergence. You have to study it very well. Half ton means half the thousand equal 500 kilogram. And also half kilogram equal 500 gram. Quarter of a ton means quarter of the thousand equal 250 kilogram. And quarter kilogram equal 250 gram. The last one, if I have three quarters of a ton, it means three quarters of 1,000. So it's equal 750 kilogram. And the same for the kilogram, three quarters kilogram equals 700 and 50 gram. From your school book, drill two, complete. Three kilogram equal how many gram? Again, you have to know that if I'm going to change from big unit to small unit, I'm going to multiply. So here I'm going to multiply times 1,000. Three times 1,000 equal 3,000. And again, changing from small unit, which is gram, changing to big unit, which is kilogram, this time I'm going to divide. So I'm going to divide here, divided by 1,000. If I'm going to divide it by 1,000, what am I going to do? I'm going to put a decimal at the end of the number here. And I'm going to push the decimal three places to the left. So the decimal is going to be between the 7 and the 5. So it's going to be 7.5, and I'm going to cross the zeros. Excellent. Now I'm going to choose the suitable answer from the brackets. Hannah bought a golden bracelet of weight. She's going to buy the bracelet. So. I'm going to use which unit? Ton, gram, or kilogram? Excellent. So the weight is going to be 10 grams. 
the weight of my shoulder bag of books that I carry daily to school is, is it three ton? Is it three grams or three kilograms? Of course, you're going to be three kilograms. Now, again, changing from ton to kilogram, I'm going to multiply. From big to small, I'm going to multiply times 1,000. One ton equal 1,000 kilogram. What if I'm going to change from kilogram to ton? From small to big, I'm going to divide. So here I'm going to divide by 1,000. Excellent. So where I'm going to put the decimal? I'm going to put it at the end of the number because I don't have a decimal point here in this number. And I'm going to push the decimal to the left three places. Any empty place, I'm going to put zeros instead of it. So I'm going to write 0 0.001. Drill number four, I want to choose the suitable unit of weight. Measuring weights in weightlifting sport. Am I going to use the ton? Am I going to use the gram or the kilogram? Of course, I'm going to use the kilogram buying a present from a jewelry shop measuring the jewelry always we use the gram super now i'm going to complete changing from ton to kilogram again if i'm going to change from big unit to small unit i'm going to multiply so here I'm going to multiply times, excellent, 1,000, because 1 ton equals 1,000 kilogram. Here I have a decimal point, so I'm going to push the decimal three places to the right. One place, and I have two empty places, so I'm going to write zero instead of the empty places. Here, again, changing from kilogram to gram, means from big unit to small unit, so I'm going to multiply times 1,000 also. Why? Because one kilogram equal 1,000 gram. Push the decimal to the right three places. So one place, second, and third. We have two empty places. I'm going to write zeros instead. Here, 1.7 kilogram again I'm going to change it to gram so I'm going to excellent multiply times 1000 push the decimal three places one two three also two empty places and I'm going to write zeros instead of the empty places the last one we have 6.25 kilogram and I'm going to change it to gram so I'm going to multiply also times, excellent, 1,000. Now I'm going to push three places, count with me, one, two, and I have an empty place. The third one, I'm going to put zero instead. Now your homework, booklet page 34 and 35. Thanks a lot.